Working with audio files in Video Studio Pro X 7 is relatively easy now with the new color codes. What I mean by that is if I go into the sound mixer icon, it then shows you my WAV file. So as you can see, I've got a green background with a black WAV file, so it really pops out. If I went to split my audio, right click, split audio, I have an option of purple and black or blue and black. So really depending on your color choice, which one is better for you to work with. I'm gonna go back to the original, so I'm gonna undo and undo. Now, if I want to adjust the volume of the clip, I use this control setting here. This is my surround sound mixer. If I go into my project properties, not in my clip properties, by using this icon or the slider here, I can adjust the entire volume at once, like so. I can also move from left speaker to the right speaker, and I'll show you how that works in just a second. If I move my CTI or my scrubber anywhere along the timeline and then make an adjustment, it will automatically add a note or a keyframe. So it shows you it goes from high volume down to low, and then if I move my scrubber, I can do the same thing anywhere along the timeline. Now, I can also do it a different way. If I highlight the clip, so I go into clip mode, if I move my cursor onto the yellow line, you'll see it turns into an up arrow. Left click and adds a note. And with this note, I can do anything I want with it. I can move it left, right, up and down. If I do not wish to have this note, I just left click and hold, drag up and release. And that how, this is how I get rid of the actual note. So let's do this one as well. And I'm gonna do this one as well. Remember, you need to be in clip properties to do this, okay? Let's go back into projects. If I wanted to add a audio filter, I would need to split the actual audio. So left click, I'm oh, sorry, right click, uh, split audio. Once I'm in my split audio, right click, I have then audio filters. And here I'm greeted with a new window. And with this window, I can add multiple effects like hiss reduction, click removals. I can have options in that as well. So hiss reduction, add, and then I'm going to options. And I can really then play with the sensitivity and have a, uh, a preview. So it's up to your personal preference. You have many choices here. And some of them are quite uh, very, very, very good as far as increasing or decreasing any type of background as well. But I'm not going to use this today. I'm going to remove that and press OK. And I'm going to go back into the original clip. OK. All right, so here's one thing that is different in Video 7 is that the, in, in, in the previous versions you had a surround sound option, no longer in here. So how do I go from stereo to surround sound? Well, fear not, this is done through your project settings. So let's go into project properties. So now we need to look for something that actually can work in surround sound. So probably advanced coding high definition is a good choice. So let's do that, advanced coding high definition. Now my clip is 1280 by 720, so I'm gonna choose that. It says 60 frame rates and I'm, I'm using 30. So I can change that in the edit tab. So I'm going to go into compression, or general, sorry. And I'm going to change that down to 29.97, okay? And once I'm in compression, I can then change it to Dolby surround sound. So in the audio settings, you'll see Dolby digital audio. If you don't see it, you might most likely have this, but here we go, Dolby digital audio and audio type. So you want the full surround sound, so choose this one, which gives you the left, right, front, rear, and subwoofer, and then press OK, and then press OK again. And it says, we're gonna change the properties of the clip, and you say yes. So now you can see I'm in surround sound, and in surround sound, I can have the option of moving my music icon anywhere I wish. Now once I do that, you can see it creates a keyframe, which indicates that when the volume button or the scrubber moves along this timeline, it will then go over to where I have set this icon here. If I move this further, it will do the same again. And that is how we get into the Dolby surround sound options. And that, my friends, is how we work with the surround sound mixer in Video Studio Pro X7.